Hey, it's Jason Kravitz here at Fatherly's Live Lounge at Dad 2.0 in lovely, rainy La Jolla. Yeah, I'm so glad I brought my bathing suit for the rain. Um, but I'm here right now with TJ. TJ is from Brand New Dad, and uh, he's also from Estonia, which is probably the longest anybody traveled to be here and sit and talk to me at this table. Welcome, TJ. Yeah, welcome. How are you Thanks. doing? Not that it's a, it's a competition, or... <laughs> no, 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 of course not. So, how's, uh, how's, first of all, how was your trip? Uh, usual, 24 hours with all the layovers. Wow. 10 hour time difference. Okay. So it's about late afternoon back home. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that's, a, that's crazy. That's crazy. Well, and you represent Brand New Dad. Tell me about Brand New Dad. Uh, well, it's a Brand New Father podcast. Brand New Father. I'm that's sorry. all right. I keep saying Brand New Dad. Brand New Father. Just remember that. Yes. Well, I started the... Uh, uh, it does a blog. Uh, just a few months before I became a dad, it's almost actually a little bit more than two years ago now. Just to journal my own experience, uh, becoming a dad, uh, just all the anxieties, the fears, the joys, and all these things, my dreams and aspirations. Mm. And uh, just about a year ago, I just pivoted a little bit and started a podcast and uh, started inviting other guests on the show. Uh, so it's not only about my journey or experience, but uh, sharing uh, other new dads' experiences and also industry like experts or influencers like doulas, uh, men's and women mental health specialists uh, to talk about uh, uh, mom-dad relationship, dads bonding with the baby, uh, all the fears and anxieties that dads have and, uh, <laughs> and like physical health as well because a lot of dads gain weight when their partners are expecting so. Mm, never heard of that one. I don't know what you're talking about. Me, I didn't either before I gained some. So. <laughs> exactly. And surprisingly enough, I didn't lose most of it in the labor, in, no, the, deli in the delivery room. I'm I don't know. You didn't, you didn't birth it all out? No, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, so you talk to people from all over the world when you do these podcasts or is it mainly <laughs> people who are local? No, I actually do it in English. Uh, since I worked for 11 years for a US based company before. Okay. So I feel actually more confident producing this content in English than in Estonian. Oh. So, uh, so far, that podcast is going 101 episodes strong. strong. 101 episodes. Mm -hmm. wow. And I've had one Estonian guest, but we still spoke in, Est in English. So. Okay, so, so uh, what made you make the switch from blogging to podcasting? Uh, I think it's easier for me to create the content. And uh, also just having the guests over it, I think it just elevates the, the content the quality as well. So it's not only my experience. So it's, uh, I think, more authentic way of uh, just creating content. And if you had advice for people who wanted to, we don't <clears> get a lot of people who do podcasts right now. We have a lot of bloggers. <clears> we're beginning to have a lot of vloggers, but there's not a lot of podcasters out there right now that I've been talking to. So what advice would you give to someone who wanted to do a podcast? Well, just off the record or on the record, I would do a vlog as well, but I just, I'm not as confident <laughs> on the, on video. Because, uh, <clears throat> it really depends. I think they reach, in some ways they reach different audiences. Yeah. You know, I know I listen to a ton of podcasts and I more irregularly watch, I'm mean, run across stuff on, mm -hmm. on YouTube or other vlogs, but uh, podcasts you can take wherever you go. And I think that that is a different type of uh, experience. It definitely is, because uh, you can almost, like multitask, you can do your dishes and listen to a podcast, That's or what I usually do, you actually. can commute to work and uh, listen to a podcast. Other than you change if, your diaper, yeah. And so, as long as you don't have self-driving car, you can't really consume video content <laughs> while you're driving, right? Soon, soon. <laughs> and so, what, but do you, the, what advice do you have? But the advice I would say is just, I'm mean, just give it a go and just. I mean, a good microphone. Do you have to have a good? Uh, well, the, the barrier of entry is fairly low because uh, uh, I use free software to edit the podcast. Uh, you can. Uh, you have some uh, hosting services as well that are free, like mm. SoundCloud, and basically need a mic, and you can do it even with uh, like $50 mic and just get it off, off the ground. And what do you, uh, where do people find your podcast? Uh, it's either on iTunes, mm -hmm. uh, Brand New Father Podcast, okay. or uh, brandnewfather.com. Brandnewfather.com, Brand New Father Podcast. Um, it sounds like an amazing resource. It sounds like you did a lot of homework for people who would. Who, who, who don't want to do the homework themselves. But uh, yeah, if I, was, uh, if I was going to be a father, and, and I, I'm not that I know of at the moment, going to be a new father, I would totally be listening to your podcast. Uh, so if you're a new father or going to be a new father, head to brandnewfather.com or uh, look up Brand New Father on uh, 
iTunes and download mm. the podcast. He's got 101 of them. And how often do you put them out? Uh, once a week once is a there. Week. So they're still growing. Uh, <laughs> thanks a lot, TJ, for being right, here. Thanks man. for having me. And uh, it's a long trip. You might want to take a nap. Um, <laughs> thanks a lot. We'll see you back with more Dad 2. Would you sign our fatherly sign here? Sure thing. There you go. We'll be back in a minute.